I always thought it was cool to do it for a living. I mean, since little kid and since I have memory, I always wanted to get drafted or signed, either as international free agent or draft. I mean, never thought I was going to get drafted, honestly. To understand the odds that Mauricio Dubon faced to even reach this point, you have to go back several years to when he was a boy in Honduras when a chance encounter with a baseball playing missionary group would turn his world upside down. That week, that week period changed my whole life right there. He impressed the group who asked if they could take him from his family and his country and move him to California to play high school baseball. Ironically, that opportunity would never have come if not for his mother. And then I remember that day I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go because I remember we had a pickup game in, in our neighborhood playing at soccer. And I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go, and my mom forced me to go. And they saw me playing and everything, and then they started talking to me and then what I, what I would thought and coming here and play baseball and everything. From there, it just started, started making comments about, about the whole thing to my mom. It took a pep talk from his older brother to help convince their mom to let Mauricio move to America. And the next day, my, my brother and my mom came and talked to the people and everything, saying that, yeah, I mean, take him. It's all yours. You can do whatever you want with him. Just, just get him out of here. Mauricio adjusted quickly to American culture, a sign of his natural adaptability. But he did miss his family. But once again, it was his mom who came through, not letting him know if his absence made her sad. Yeah, you know, I think my mom, my mom was good at that. I don't know if she missed me, <laughs> but she, yeah, she never, she never was like, oh, I can't wait to go home. And no, she always like, oh, come on, come on, let's go. Like, got a big game tomorrow. Like, make something happen. And Mauricio did make something happen. He played well enough at Capital Christian in Sacramento to be drafted in the 26th round by the Boston Red Sox in 2013. While it was a dream come true for Dubon, as a lifelong Yankee fan, that meant some teasing at the hands of his friends. All the guys in Honduras knew I was a Yankees fan. Like, die hard and everything. And now, when I got drafted by the Red Sox, everybody started making fun of me because, you know, the Yankees and Red Sox and everything now is just different. But the teasing quickly gave way to an interesting shift in loyalties within Dubon's home country. Now I see more Red Sox fans over there in Honduras than Yankees fans, so it's, that's pretty cool like how they support me and everything. This is the point in Mauricio's story where he really shines. His sights are definitely set on making the major leagues, but he also wants to play well enough to bring more opportunities to his home country. I mean, yeah, that's, what, that's the main goal right now, playing baseball and everything. But hopefully I can get more Honduran players to, you know, get signed, get, help them out, I mean, all my baseball stuff, all what I use during the season, I, I give it away. I mean, try to help out people and everything. Because I know growing up, I didn't have anybody that came and helped me out. So try to make the road easy for them. The road will not be easy for Dubon to become the first major league player born and raised in Honduras. But so far, so good for the shortstop. He's shown the ability in the field for a long time. And now his bat is catching up, hitting well above 300 at this point in the season. Despite carrying the weight of the nation on his shoulders, Dubon isn't weighed down by the hope and expectations. I think that's why there's not a lot of pressure, because I have a lot of support. And I mean, it's, it's a blessing being able to be that guy that, that I have a shot to be the first born and raised coming out of Honduras. I mean, can't even explain how, how cool it will be to be the first one. Hopefully not the last one though.